All right, so this is Morrissey, and this is Every Day is Like Sunday, and I'm pretty sure that this song is like one of his bigger hits, I guess, as a solo artist, and yeah, so we're going to get into it, and I guess that's it. If you can hear a dishwasher um, in the background, it's because it is on. So anyway, I'm sorry about that. Let's get into this and uh, talk about it after, I guess. Anyway, all right. This is not a lyrics video, by the way. Um, when I see the lyrics on uh, my laptop over here, and uh, yeah, so let's go. <laughs> And a half minutes of Morrissey here, and uh, yeah, every day is like Sunday. Uh, that was just a very, I mean, it's just a nice song. I mean, I don't know, it's just really relaxing, I guess you could say. And uh, the chorus just kept coming back, really catchy. Every day is like Sunday, and uh, yeah, I just really like that song. Um, so getting into it here on uh, genius.com, it says, uh, for the about, um, every day is like Sunday was released as the, as the second single off of Viva Hate and follows Morrissey's disgust with a particular out-of-season beach town. Uh, also, I like the title of the album, Viva Hate, and uh, yeah, it's funny. Um, so yeah, and then we get into the annotations, I guess, and uh, the first verse, charging slowly over wet sand back to the bench where your clothes were stolen. This is the coastal town that they forgot to close down. 
In this song, Morrissey describes the banality and eeriness of an out-of-season beach town. He has been quoted as quoted as saying that this was the song that inspired... Wait, wait. Hold on. He has been quoted as saying that this song was inspired by the Welsh seaside resort of Borth. Goodness gracious. All right. So, Borth. Thank you very much. Armageddon. Armageddon. Come, Armageddon. Uh, come, Armageddon, come. This is possibly inspired by the poem Slew, Slow. Uh, come, friendly bombs, and fall on slow. Uh, Morrissey is facetiously saying that the town is so boring and outdated that the Armageddon or nuclear holocaust would improve it. Um, and again, I see, it, like, I'll, throughout this whole song, I saw, like, lyrics uh, like that one about just bombing the town or whatever because it's boring. And uh, it, it, it's just things like that. Where it's just like, I always, Morrissey just like cracks me up. I don't know, his writing is always like very uh, sly, I guess. I don't know, it's just he can talk about serious things, serious things. And I feel like I slur my words. And, uh, but make it funny or something. It's just make it like tongue in cheek kind of thing. It's just, I don't know, I really like his writing like that. And uh, it just makes the song better. I don't know, it makes me like the song even more kind of thing, I guess. Um, so then we get into the chorus. Uh, Every day is like Sunday. Every day is silent and gray. And uh, so it says there's something strangely depressing about a seaside town out of season. And that's what Morrissey said. And it says Morrissey compares being in this town as being stuck in perpetual Sunday, the end of the weekend, and the depressing inevitability of the beginning of the week again. And uh, so, yeah, then we go on to the next annotation. Uh, How I dearly wish I was not here in the seaside town that they forgot to bomb. Come, 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 nuclear bomb. Like, another line like that where it just they forgot to bomb this place. It's, <laughs> it just makes me laugh. I don't know. Uh, so as Morrissey has stated that the lyrics to the song are, are inspired to an extent by Neville Shoot, or Chute, uh, his novel, On the Beach, which tells the tale of post-apocalyptic Australia ravaged by nuclear war so yeah there's a fact for you um and then we go on down to the third verse and it says and a strange dust lands on your hands and on your face on your face on your face on your face it says this allusion to nuclear follow continues with the apocalyptic imagery of the song and the analogies it makes between being bored and depressed on a holiday and the aftermath of a nuclear armageddon so yeah it's just not a pretty sight i guess but Again, like uh, Morrissey says, the town isn't really that pretty of a sight, so what's the difference? And so one of the last uh, annotations here is from the second chorus. Every day is like Sunday, win yourself a cheap tray, share some greased tea with me. Every day is silent and gray. So it's, it says Morrissey is referring to some sort of crappy prize that one might win in a seaside boardwalk game when he's talking about uh, when yourself a cheap tray and share some greased tea with me. Greased tea could very well literally mean greasy, disgusting tea, though Morrissey is probably just talking about uh, a blank as a blanket term for a gross boardwalk food. So, yeah, again, it's just like Morrissey, I mean, I don't know if he's actually talking about this. Maybe Genius is wrong because I know they've been wrong. But, uh, yeah, it's just Morrissey with, like, he can make, like, words, like, I don't know, it just sounds stupid, but it's just like he makes words seem more important than they are or something like that. It's just when he's talking about like greasy tea or greasy food or whatever, it's just he has a way with words, I guess. I don't know, he's just a very good writer and I like his writing style. And uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm very uh, entertained by his music. And uh, yeah, I mean... Again, I know what he's like today or whatever. I mean, a lot of people say that he's like... I've heard that he's been called a racist and stuff because of uh, what he's come out uh, and said about, like, uh, uh, I guess the United Kingdom and all that stuff. But really, I mean, he's like 60 years old, I think. And, uh, I mean, I'm not really surprised. I mean, <laughs> of what he's what I've read of what he said. Uh, either way, he was in the Smiths and he's he had a very successful solo career. So, I mean... I, I, I'm going to enjoy his music either way. And uh, yeah, so that's another little aside on that one. But anyway, um, this was uh, Every Day is Like Sunday. And this was uh, kind of requested a bit. So I finally got to it. And I'm glad I did. So I guess that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. And thanks for liking and subscribing and commenting and all that stuff on every video. It's always well appreciated. And I can't believe that uh, 
yeah, I'm at like over 200 subscribers or something like that, so that's pretty cool. And uh, after just starting this out just for fun, um, now I do it like four days a week, and it's pretty cool. All right, so that's about it. <laughs> Again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. And uh, yeah, stay hydrated. Okay.